I am at the Global Automotive Lightweight Materials Summit of North America in Detroit this week, and I am speaking with Dr. Sama. Dr. Sama, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your alliance? Um, yeah, thank you very much. I'm um, the leader of uh, the EU Project Alliance, Affordable Lightweight Automobile Alliance, um, focusing on lightweighting uh, with the goal to bring lightweight initiatives to the next step and uh, down to the, let's say, close to the mass production. Fantastic. Yeah. Can you tell me why is lightweighting still relevant in the age of uh, this transition to ACES vehicles? Um, lightweighting will still be uh, very uh, relevant, um, first of all, because lightweighting is uh, related to efficiency, uh, to performance, and also to parameters like uh, emission, uh, emission reduction, and uh, for the automotive industry as well for, for the cost, cost saving. And why is the Alliance so concerned with affordability? Um, the affordability is a very, very important aspect. That's why also it's part of the name uh, of the title. Uh, first of all, um, regarding uh, the OAM, uh, affordable in terms of cost, um, cost of materials, cost of production, um, and also for the end customer uh, to make these uh, new lightweight materials and technologies um, affordable for the end customers. So that's why in, on both sides, for the OAM and for the end customer. Okay. And you did about seven years or so of research. Um, what were some of the conclusions from your research? Um, actually, we didn't want to do a long-term research. We, uh, our research project uh, is about three years. Um, again, uh, as a lot of OAMs are involved, we wanted to push these um, technologies, these uh, initiatives very, very fast. So three years project with um, great, great results. First of all, uh, we developed uh, new materials um, and validated these materials based on concrete um, on an existing vehicles on the road. Uh, so direct feedback, research and practice. So, um, and we develop also related manufacturing uh, as you know, uh, developing new material is a challenge regarding also ma manufacturing. So reducing the, the, the cycle times um, and the manufacturing cost as well. So new materials, new manufacturing, and uh, also very important new supporting tool to support designers when they design new parts, new modules uh, regarding uh, the objectives of the project, cost savings, material savings, emission reduction, and so on. And I believe that, yeah, can you tell us the actual reduction of percentages that you were able to achieve? Um, actually, we started with um, a goal of 30% uh, uh, thir of uh, weight re reduction. Today, we are a little bit above 33%, very, very good results. Um, we started also for a cost saving, material cost saving about 3 euros per kilogram. As of today, intermediate result, we are about 3 as well. And uh, one of the big results is in the emission. Uh, we were at the beginning a little bit conservative. We started with 6% and today we are above 25% of reduction. So great results. And uh, again, this is due to the uh, huge efforts we did and the, the utilization of uh, the data, the available data, uh, um, real data from the production. Fantastic. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much as well. Thanks.